My very first job was in senior care as an assistant activities director at a long-term care community outside of the Boston metro area. And it was at that job that I met Rose Brown. Now Rose was 92, impeccably dressed, beautiful coiffed hair, a full face of makeup, of course with the coral lipstick. And sometimes she had that purse hanging over her shoulder. And sometimes when you get to a certain age, you might feel diminished, tolerated in other people's eyes. But I can tell you that was not the case with Rose Brown. I was 20. I had just relocated from Los Angeles where I had been dating this wonderful fellow. And I had met this other wonderful young fellow, a software engineer, but I wasn't sure if I had made the right decision. And I remember going to Rose for some wise counsel. We would sit in her apartment and we would talk about men and love. And I remember Rose giving me some counsel about that young fellow. She said, Linda, you need to ask him where he comes from, what his values are and what he wants out of life. And I have hearkened back to those conversations many times because that young fella, that software engineer is Aaron. He became my husband. We've just celebrated 30 years together. So I don't have to tell you that every one of us needs a Rose Brown. I also know that every Rose Brown needs one of us to see them, to value them, to make sure they know that their life matters. Because as you and I both know, it absolutely does.